What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Alrighty, so, um, we're gonna take a small side quest to Route 212, I believe? Yes, we're gonna be doing that, just to power up our Pokemon just a little bit before we go and battle, uh, what was his name, Crasher Wake, in our next gym battle. Now, you can find a lot of stuff around here, and, uh, one of them is the Great Marsh. Yeah, he's talking about the Great Marsh. I hate that place, I really do. Now... Look at that. Reminds me of the Great Marsh right here. Now, you could find a hidden item right here. You can find two hidden items right here. So, let's see. Let's see if you can find something. There's something faint right here. Huh. Where is it? Huh. Nope. Nothing. Okay, so I'm still grabbing it. It's right up here somewhere. Where the hell are you? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so I'm still trying to find it. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, you know what? I'll get back to you a little bit later right here. So, moving on forward right here, we're at Route 212, and uh, we're grabbing a few berries here and there, and battling a few Pokemon trainers. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys a, a little bit of something. I, I do believe in the next, yeah, this, these next two episodes, I'm just going to be showing you guys the Pokemon Mansion, the route right here, you know. Get our experience points, that way we can actually battle uh, Crash Awake with a, you know, respectable Pokemon right here. And, uh, let's see, we're grabbing an item right here, and it's a revive. It's always good to have revives right here. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna be switching up our Pokemon right now. I'm gonna go with... Let's go with this guy right here, Toothless. Because it needs to learn a few good moves right here. And, uh, let's see. What'd you want? She wants to keep up with me. Yeah, one of my biggest things is I need to get away from the marsh areas. I really do hate it. It, it just bugs the crud out of me. It really does. So here we go, battling up against the Carnivine. And this guy... Okay, so type disadvantage. I'm just going to go with the Dragon Rage because we know what to do right here. That's right. Dragon Rage does its job. So it's halfway there. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, so there we go. Faint attack. Doesn't do much, but... Here we go. Here we go. Dragon Rage again. That's right. Okay, okay. So there's another faint attack right there. And what does that do? Nothing. But it takes a, quite a few HP right here. And, uh, okay. Alrighty. So let's go with a slash attack. Could have started with that one right there. Alrighty. Say goodbye to Carnivide. Alright. Good experience points. We're, we're doing great. All that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Time to move to switch it up right here. She's coming out with the Luxio, and, uh, well, I guess. I guess it's a good Pokemon. I don't know. All right. There it is. So, let's go with an Earthquake attack. That's right. Quick Claw for the win. Look at that. You gotta love that. You really do. You have to love that. You really do. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Luxio. Very powerful attack. Eventually, Toothless will learn its Earthquake attack. I will find that, t that, that TM. I remember reading in my comment section where to find that uh, TM. So whoever put that comment right there, thank you very much. I will eventually get to that get to that Earthquake attack. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm just going to be using a Repel right here because I really don't want to battle any of the Pokemon. Maybe because I don't want to take the time to actually battle or just to edit anything out. So here we have another item. TM06, which is toxic. A very good poison type move for, you know, you know, uh, a good strategy right there. And uh, this girl does not want to battle. She's telling me that you'll get stuck around here, and that is the that is the thing that I don't want to do. I don't want to get stuck around here. And uh, okay, so squirming everywhere. Don't want yeah, I really don't want that. Now dark areas are the areas will you, where you will get uh, stuck at, so try and avoid that if you want to, if you don't want to, like, uh, waste time. And there you go, we found ourselves an elixir, which is also good. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to have to go through here. As you can see, we're just squirming around, and there really is nothing. Yeah, that's why I'm checking to see if there's any kind of hidden items right there. And, uh, well, let's see. Well, there's, yeah, there really is nothing around here, so... I'm just moving on, and here we have another Pokemon Trainer battle, which is also great. You know, you can't have you can't have enough Pokemon battles. Yes, I want Pokemon battles. I want to defeat everybody. Not only do you have to catch them all, but you have to defeat them all too. You know, be the uh, the uh, the 
the, the, the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is your real test. You know, that kind of stuff. That's right. So, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, maybe just use this attack. And, of course, Horn Attack does its thing right here. So, here we go with the Raw Tomb. See what we can do. Come on. Lower its speed, which is good. Okay, so that's good. That's very, very good. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch it up right here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, you know what? Slash Attack is always good, right? Yeah. Or, you know what? I'm just going to go do my go-to move, maybe. No, you know what? I'm going to switch my Pokemon right here. I really, really, really just... I really don't want, to, I want the headache right here. My Pokemon... Uh, well, Toothless is kind of at a disadvantage right now. So here we go. Golding is actually using Aqua Ring, which, you know, actually heals its... Uh, it gets, gets back HP uh, through the water that... It, like, through the area that's at, you know, right now it's raining, so it might get more HP eventually. And here we go, Shockwave. Oh, yeah. Shockwave for the win. Not really for the win, but it did something, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. What's next? Healing up, but this is what we're going to be doing right now. Shockwave for the win! Oh yeah. That's right. Okay, so that's uh, another one down. And uh, Gaia number two doing its thing. It's, you know, it's close to being, ev close to evolving and all that stuff into, um, into Guard Devourer. The only thing is, I think I mentioned this in my, like, my last two episodes. Uh, off screen, before I captured Hera, I actually captured a Geodude. And to my surprise, it actually had a held item, which was an Everstone. And that's very, very good because that's an, that's an actual, uh, what was it? An actual item that I needed for my Pokemon. And what the hell? Seriously? Ah, oh, crud. So yeah, uh, it's an actual item that I need for my, uh, for my uh, Gaia number two in order to prevent it from evolving into a Guard Devourer. I want to evolve it into a uh, Gallade. It's just I need to find myself a uh, Dawnstone. I know many of you guys are yelling at me right now because it's like it might be around here somewhere. I will find it. We will find it. Don't worry, guys. We shall find it. Alrighty. As you can see, Donatello, if, you know, he uh, he eventually uh, avenges his Pokemon comrade right there. So let's move on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, talk to these guys. See, these guys might be able to heal us or something like that. So... Let's see, talk to this person, talk about blue shards, red shards, collects yellow shards. So, uh, this guy actually collects shards from what she says, and, uh, yeah, he will actually teach a Pokemon a move, which is good. So, let's see what Gaia... Oh, damn! Okay, so, this guy can teach some very, very good moves to my Pokemon right here. So, I, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind and, uh, try and collect some, uh, some shards right here. Alrighty, okay. So... Regain some health and, uh, you know, just heal up my Pokemon because, uh, you know, that's the best thing that I can do. Alright. And, uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, so. Uh, yeah, talking about shards again. So let's just move on right here. Um, I think there's more Pokemon trainers than anything. So we're going to talk to this guy. He loves his fishing. So we're going to indulge him by beating him in a Pokemon battle. That's right. And he only has one Pokemon, and it's a Gyarados. Holy crud. So I believe it's in this, in this uh, what was it? In this uh, game where you can actually find a lot of fishermen that actually evolve their Magikarp. And believe it or not, since you do, you, you do uh, have the ability to get the VS Seeker right here, you will be able to rematch them every single time. And, and uh, if you guys need any kind of advice on where to train, find the fishermen with a lot of uh, Gyarados because they give a lot of experience points. And, uh, well, there we go. Just kicking some more butt right here. And uh, let's go again with a thunder attack. And believe it or not, it's raining. It will not miss. So this has become a lightning rod, which is also good. Very, very good. Look at that. That is pretty cool right there. And, uh, well, that is it for that guy. So I think I should probably keep uh, uh, Hydra number four up front because Thunder Attack, 
Thunder attack plus rain, it always works. It really does. So let's go ahead and just heal up our Pokemon yet again. And uh, let's move on with the next one, guy. Right here, he loves his Pokemon more than the ladies. I don't... Okay, whatever. Cool. So here we go. Sabe or Fisherman Josh coming out with his Goldeen. And I'm just going to come out with this guy right here. Hydra number four. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Okay. Alrighty. I think I know what move I want to use. Dragon Rage. That's right. Dragon Rage. Huh. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with uh, Dragon Rage yet again. Or no, just once. And, uh, well, this guy, the rain and everything, it's all good and all that stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and do this again. And here he comes out with another Water Pulse. Alrighty. Okay. Y y you think you can beat me like that? So here we go, Dragon Rage yet again. Alrighty. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. And Hera number f Hera is growing up to well, it's grown to level 31. Um, you guys probably already know this. You probably yeah yeah you guys probably already know this, but yeah, I'm not gonna be using Hera in this area right here because yeah, don't want to mess with the don't want to mess with any of the, the the rain right here. It actually weakens it. And uh, well, here we go with a thunder and look at that. Oh yeah. Say goodbye to Goldeen. Oh yeah, kicking butt. I'm really kicking butt right now. That's right, kicking butt, taking names. Look at that. Look at that. So that is pretty much it right there for this person. And uh, let's see. There's an area where you need to cut and talk to this girl or this guy, I should say. Let's see what happens. I want to see what happens. Alrighty. So he comes out with a barboke or barbooch again. <laughs> Don't really know how to say the name. I'll figure it out next time. And, uh, well, my thunder attack will not work against this guy. But here we go with Dragon Rage. Will it do it? I think it can. Maybe. So here we go with a water gun. Not super effective, but it's something. Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go with a bite attack. That's right. And that bite attack does its thing right there. And uh, Hera, growing levels without doing anything. So I guess it's a good thing that we're not like we're not really trying hard with this guy. And he's gonna come out with a Gyarados. Now I think at this point right here, I wasn't really looking at the screen. I was just like hurrying it up because it's like I kind of want to get this done. And that's when I saw Gyarados, and I was like, Good God. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go with the return. See if it actually knocks it out with one hit. I don't know. So here we go. Return attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? Almost does it. But this guy goes with Leer. Trying to, you know, lower my defense and all that stuff. So let's go. Bring it. Let's bring it. Let's do this right here. So return attack. Does it do it? Will it do it? No, it doesn't. And there's another Leer attack. And uh, God, man, do you have anything else besides Leer attack? I want to know. All right, so here we go. Return attack for the win. And that is how you do it. All righty. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. The rain is continuing. I'm doing my thing. And, uh, well, he's coming out with a barboach. So that's that's a good thing for me right here. I could use, uh, well, I could definitely use this. So let's go with the Mega Drain. Will it take it away? Will it do it? Let's find out here on Dragon Ball Z. I could totally announce for them. I really could. So there it is. Another Barboche down. And, uh, well, rain continues. That's always good. And, uh, well, he's coming out with the Barboche again. So let's continue on right here with Donatello doing its thing, making everything cool. And here we go. Mega Drain for the win. Oh, yeah. Look at that, Barboche. I'm not looking so happy right now. It's a good combination of a rock, or no, a ground and water type Pokemon, so that's always great right there. Okay, so what's next? Uh, well, we already defeated all those guys. There might be a few people more, so I'm going to switch up my Pokemon right here. 
And uh, hopefully Gaia number four or Gaia number two can actually, you know, win another battle right here. Because, you know, it really wanted to evolve. I really, really wanted to evolve, you know, eventually and all that stuff. So here comes an Umbreon, and I'm coming with Gaia number two and uh, Gravy. I picked the wrong Pokemon, so I got to switch out my Pokemon right now. All right, so switching out. Let's go with Toothless right here and Crud. Umbreon uses Pursuit, which can actually attack a Pokemon while it's being switched out. And as you can see, it made my Pokemon faint, which, yeah, great, great, just great, just great. Okay, so let's do this. Um, avenge my Pokemon, but this Umbreon right here is just like just being a dick of a Pokemon right now. So here we go, Rock Tomb. That's right, and it uh, doesn't really take much, but it lowers its speed, which is also good. And uh, what can we do next? Let's see. Um, slash attack. That's right. Make it super fast. And still, it has a kind of fence. Never knew that Umbreon could be that tough. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I know what to do. Dragon Rage. Oh, yeah. Dragon Rage for the win. No, not for the win. And th this guy right here just will not go down. Will not go down for a f without a fight. So let's go ahead and just do this right here. Let's go ahead and use that Dragon Rage again because we can. And uh, would you look at that. Umbreon defeated. Finally. Alrighty. And, uh, well, the rain continues. The rain continues pouring on my head. He's gonna come out with an Espeon and kick my butt, so I'm gonna kick. I'm just not gonna sing anymore. <laughs> All right, so he's coming out with an Espeon right here, and uh, well, let's see, bite attack. It will work. Yeah, it works. It works. And there goes that Espeon right there. Suck it. That's right. I feel good. I feel great. And that gives us more experience points right there. And that's how tough I am. Yes, I am very, very, very tough. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, use that revive right there. And, uh, well, a super potion too, because Gaia number two has been getting his butt kicked uh, as of lately. Not liking it. Really, really am not. So let's go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon some more. And uh, you know what? Mm, okay. You know what? I think I might just do this. I, yeah, heal up Hydra number four. And. You know what? I'm going to switch out my Pokemon. Actually, I'm going to get the Everstone from it because, you know, it, it's getting its butt kicked. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to, let's see, Everstone, no. Actually, I got to take that experience here from uh, Hera. Believe it or not, I caught Hera a few episodes ago, but it's quickly too, like, it, it quickly evolved and all that stuff. And it's really not fair to Gaia number two. So I got to make sure that I don't evolve it by level 29. And right here, you can ride your bike and get this item right here, which is TM62 Silverwind, which is a very, very good bug type move. And, um, well, let's see. I think we could just move on just a little bit. I don't even know. But yeah, uh, gonna try and boost up its experience points just a little bit before level 29. And then after that, I'm just gonna, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm forced, I'm just gonna have to be forced to just battle it regularly without experience share. You know, that's kind of what it is. My goal is I want to get it to level 30. Well, I want it to learn Psychic before anything. That way, when it evolves into a Gallade, be simple. It actually have a powerful move plus an, an extra typing right there. And as you can see, we're going to be battling another policeman right here. And this guy coming out with his hoot hoot. Not looking so powerful or anything like that, but. Guy at number two, ready to battle, ready to do his things right here, and uh, well, let's go with uh, Shockwave. Let's get this, Shockwave. Will it do it? Can it do it? Oh yeah. No, it takes half its experience points, which is, yeah, which is annoying. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh crud, okay, so we're gonna have to go ahead and do this again, Shockwave. For the win, come on! Does it do it? Will it do it? No! Okay, so that there's that takedown attack, whatever. And uh, we're gonna have to do it one more time again. Come on, guy number two. Come on! There it is, Shockwave, the most powerful one. 
And there you go. That is how you defeat Hoot Hoot. Oh yeah. That's how you do it. Okay. So that's that's how you defeat that Pokemon and it avenges some of its honor. And it's coming out with a Machop. So I'm gonna take my chances right here and see if I can beat it with just a confusion attack and whatnot. So here we go. Confusion attack. Come on. For the win. And almost defeats him. And yes, it confuses him. So that's actually very good. Hopefully it hurts himself. Hurt yourself? Yes, it does. All right, Gaia number two kicking butt right now. That's right. Here we go. Confusion for the win, and that is how you do it. Look at that. Easy victory. Easy, easy money right there. So, it's a good victory right there. And you know what? I'm actually going to stop it right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the Pokemon Mansion and just exploring just a little bit more because there's more Pokemon trainers along the way. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Platinum. See you guys.